So I got to Milan and I felt a bit more like I knew a little bit what was going on, right? Mm. Um, but I was in a model flat, which was, it's a whole thing. It's like you share a room with a person you never met. Like some girls even shared a bed. That's yeah. how bad it was. And oh. you don't even know them. Like, yeah. it's a bit weird. <laughs> it might, yeah, I, I, it um, might be, yeah. So I had a flat with two other girls, but you're sleeping basically in the same room. Mm -hmm. uh, tiny kitchen. It's like the the place in, in Milan, it's, um, it's a model apartment, but they have them in a hotel. So it's like a hotel room that you live mm. in, basically. It's not even a, like a proper apartment. Yeah. Uh, and you use a tiny fridge, like everything is quiet. You know, it's not really 100% functional. Yeah. Um, so, but you kind of, I don't know, maybe because I was so young, it didn't bother me. Like it was yeah. like, I'm just here to like work. But still like living with people you don't know, it can become very kind of, you know, competitive in a way or like I, I don't know like there's like maybe some, some drama happening <laughs> absolutely yeah. i mean i think i was quite lucky i tended to make really good friends mm -hmm. out of the people i lived with and there are girls that i still have on instagram and i might message every now and then mm -hmm. like i think i was fairly lucky like in that sense um but you definitely can you can end up with anyone and some people are crazy and and i was talking to the, about this the other day with someone and i think it's because the thing with modeling is like we all have something in common we're here to do modeling but it has nothing to do with us as humans yeah. it's like i was born looking like this and that's why we're here like it could be anyone and they could act or behave or like or do yeah. anything because the only reason you're in the space together is because the way that you look yeah so it's a bit of an interesting one and i think that's why you get such a diverse mm. pool of people doing it um but i think there is definitely that competitiveness i have felt that when i lived in certain like model apartments it was a bit like you know girls really asking what's your schedule like tomorrow and like really want to know and be mm. very like nosy and showing off maybe with what they were doing in a, in a way which is you should be able to share and i think yeah. it's good to talk about it but you know you can feel the difference in why you're asking or how you're asking and, and a bit like that so interesting or very that i think one of my main issues was the food bit because i could really feel that when i was living in a mall apartment that it was a lot of looking around what people were eating and judging and, yeah. and everybody was you know it was very like someone was on a diet just eating cherries drinking water and someone else wanted to have a fish and chips and yeah. it was kind of like i felt yeah. that it was a weird that was a weird thing and i hated that it's like so not relaxing to be in like you just want to eat your food and do your yeah. thing not feel judged for it <laughs> like <laughs> especially when you're home you know it's like come on and and then another interesting thing with mall apartments is that some of them there's a booker living with you so it could be at the agency um one of the bookers usually like a junior one so like a new new one uh lives in the model apartment kind of for free or like very cheap which mm -hmm. is why they do it and to kind of keep a little bit of an eye i guess on the models but that also makes you feel like you're always at work because once you're mm -hmm. home your booker is there like you know it's a yeah. bit like it's a weird one <laughs> yeah I can imagine that. Yeah. But also considering there's like so many young people just live together, like it could also go in the in the in the, some bad direction. Were you ever close to this kind of environment? And how how did you protect yourself from all of this? Yeah, no, that is so true. I think like if for example, if you had a booker living with you, mm -hmm. that was never really, you know, it wouldn't happen in yeah. the house or like anything like that. Um, I would say though. So, because models are so young as well, a lot of the time, if you, you go out or you want to do partying or drugs or whatever people are into, it usually is with promoters. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've heard about promoters. It's not just for models, they exist in the night, night scene, in general, nightclub scene. Yeah. So it's basically usually a guy who you know works with taking beautiful women out to clubs because they get paid because the clubs pay them to bring them there yeah in club, like a club it, it kind of attracts more exactly you actually pay for something so that's yeah. kind of the way it works and that's a lot a lot of that in the modeling world so mm -hmm. that was more i wouldn't say i never felt like i was in the house and people were you know drinking and doing drugs no it wasn't like that it was more 
some people would go out a lot with promoters and like I've been out with promoters it's like something most models have because mm -hmm. it's kind of how you socialize and you meet a lot of other people like it's it, it is I would say most people have been out with them and it's nice because you get like free food free yeah. drinks all that but it can also be a very weird setting and I I don't go out with promoters anymore because yeah. it's a it's a weird it's a little bit like a working commitment you're like you know you're there, you know you're not paying for anything and you're kind of supposed to be at this certain table. You're not like allowed to leave because this is the mm -hmm. table that you're, you know, you're supposed to be at because that's what the club's kind of rule is. Yeah. Like it's a bit of a... Okay, can, can you get in a situation weird... where like there are some things expected from you because you get into a situation that are not just promoting? Yeah, no, I have never been in that situation, but I... I feel like it should maybe it does happen mm -hmm. i can see that being a thing happening and that's obviously yeah. terrible um but i do i feel like it's never been in a way of like i feel like something expected from me with with another person but you feel like there's something expected from you as in you know you need to be there and have be fun. fun exactly like you you know you need to it's like you can't just go and be yourself or like mm -hmm. if i want to go talk to that person over there in this other table mm -hmm. and just leave you guys you can't really because you're supposed to, you know it's like mm -hmm. it's a bit of a weird and nowadays i don't really enjoy the feeling of like oh i owe someone something mm -hmm. like i'm here everyone's paid for so i need to like i I wouldn't do that now. Mm. No, but that's the, that. I would say that's more the place where people might have done, you know, drugs or dr like you can drink because mm. everything's free, like yeah. all that stuff. But it can be fun as well. No, of course, yeah. yeah I'm not yeah. saying that. Yeah. Uh, and it also like it took me to some amazing places. So like I'm really happy that I got the opportunity.